you guys before y'all hear my talking vlog that i'm about to upload why did i make why did i make a protein shake for the very first time y'all and it's really good i'll give it an 8 out of 10 only for the simple fact y'all i think i put too much peanut butter in it and y'all it's good i'm gonna have to give y'all a gym after the gym protein shake um routine because it's really really good i'm really proud of myself like like who you know okay y'all can watch the video now but um in this video welcome to my channel that's why i made this because i didn't say welcome to my channel so welcome to my channel you guys welcome back it's itiana itiana gabriella i hope you guys enjoy my on the way to the gym talking i'm literally just talking about my life on the way to the gym um and i love y'all and bye to the gym today and this actually the first day is it the first day i think it's the second day but this is the first day that i'm about to make it consistent for real i'm gonna go to the gym i'm probably not gonna take y'all with me um but you guys i'm on this journey of uh, gaining weight i want to gain like 20 pounds like not 20 pounds oh not 20 pounds like 10 pounds and i'm gonna see what that looks like but currently right now i'm 124 pounds which is not bad but i would like to be 135 i feel like me being 5'1 135 is probably like really decent depending on how that look depending if i want to go up or not but 5'1 is short and 135 is a good size um so i'm gonna go to the gym you guys i'm excited i'm actually gonna do arms today and abs because my legs are shot y'all been working and i've been on my legs for the last like couple of like five days so i'm about to go to the gym and just work on my arms because i want toner arms very lightweight probably like five pounds honestly each side and then I'm gonna do my stomach. Um, of course, I want a solid core. And I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, you guys. I'm really, really, really excited because um, um, I'm really gonna make it a goal this year. I say this every single year. Well, not every year. Um, but I always say I'm gonna get my body right. But this year, I'm really gonna get my body right because one, I have two uneven legs. Um, my ACL leg is uh, smaller than my left leg. Um, I never really got it back the same. So my quads is very it was very weak and very small. My hammies are very weak and very strong. I mean, yeah, they're very weak and they need some work. So I feel like that really, you know, affect my body like i feel like i have i feel like my body is not bad like i have a butt but i want it to be evenly proportioned for one and for two i want to get right you feel me uh, i just i feel and i've always like people who know me knows that uh, just knows that I've always had a problem with my calves or my legs. Like, I've always hated wearing dresses in high school. I've always hated... Oh, where am I going? I'm going the wrong way, bro. That's okay. I always hated wearing skirts. I've never been a skirt girly. I've never been a dress girly because I've always felt like my legs are just so ill because I really do have extremely big calves, but I'm learning to love who God created me to be. I'm learning to love my legs. People will always tell me your legs are beautiful, but I've always had like growing up, like from elementary school. Hold on you guys.
Okay. So growing up, starting from middle school, you guys, people would always say, you have chicken legs. You have chicken legs, you have man legs. They would either say chicken legs or man legs. And I would always get made fun of because of my legs, which was the root of me hating my legs, hated wearing, um, hated wearing dresses and skirts. Um, but from the woman, people would say oh my god your legs are so beautiful i love your legs i wish i had your legs but so it was just like from men and me being a woman of course we cared about like the other gender's opinion me being in christ i don't care about humans like the only opinion that really and truly matters is god and my god tells me and he has created me so am i saying his creation is void like no i'm beautiful i'm my own creation even my acne i have been i have grown to love my face i'm not saying that it's gonna be here forever because i'm working on eating better so that my face cannot be like this of course who doesn't want a clear face but i've grown to love my natural state um of course i want to love I want to learn how to do makeup, which is another goal for me this year. Um, just getting back into doing makeup. I did makeup in high school. I did makeup my freshman and sophomore year, maybe even junior year in college. But I just stopped. Like, I completely stopped and I lost it. Like, I don't know how to do makeup anymore. That's why I haven't been wearing it. But I want to get back into that. But I have... I know people who wear makeup so much that they hate their natural face. So I'm glad that I've gotten to a stage in my life where I love my natural face and I'm working on getting my face more clear. Um, like my natural face clear because my cheeks, as you can see, is like, you know, working on it. But I love my natural face. So imagine me learning how to do makeup again and I, I learned how to do both. Like, I love the face that I put makeup on, that I create, and I love what God has created, you feel me? So I'm working on those things. Um, yeah, so this is day one, really in the gym for real. Going to the gym, I'm excited, like I'm actually excited. Um, I have a whole workout for today, I'm gonna do my arms and my abs. And I'm not gonna bring y'all along with me as of yet, because I'm not confident in the gym at all. I'm not confident for one. And for two, I don't have any matching sets. Like, I don't have any, um, like, gym outfits. I just don't have any of them. Um, I, I still wear my spandex, you guys, from college. Like, that my mom bought me the beginning of my college career when I was running track. I don't know if you guys know but I ran track for a family when I was a walk-on and my mom she just bought me like a whole bunch of spandex and like sports bras like the beginning of my career and I still wear those same exact size like I'm not the same exact size as I was um because when I started college I probably was like 115 and now I'm 124 um so I can fit them but now I can low-key fit a medium low-key now I can low-key fit a medium it's just my waist is still very small so the goal is to completely get out of a size small I want to be a solid medium I don't want to be a large but I would love to be a solid medium so you guys I know this was a very long talk if you sat through this who rocked to you you feel me who rocked to you that's why I feel like with YouTube like I don't know everyone's attention span, but I know my own attention span, and I'm working on that. I'm working on my attention span because I've noticed I get bored easily. Either when it could be watching a sermon and I want to pause it to go on social media or pause it to text or even at church my attention span is so low and I want to just like fall asleep or even conversations with people like my mind starts drifting and I'm doing better because I'm way more intentional with my friendships now when they talk to me I actually listen to them I actually don't talk or cut them off so I'm definitely working on that but my attention attention span is very low so that's definitely something I need to work on 
and now that I'm talking, I think I'm just gonna make this uh, um, a car vlog because I'm talking a lot and it's already eight minutes. And I don't think you guys are gonna um, watch a full eight minutes of me just talking. Plus, if I add something before this or after this. So I'm just gonna talk to y'all if y'all watch it. Alrighty, if you made it this far, you a real one for real. But um, so like I said before, I don't think I mentioned it in this vlog, but I'm just gonna let y'all know now. So I am working on my food, like my eating habits. I told myself the month of January, well, really this week is when I started that. Um, I am going to drink more water and when I say more water I'm gonna drink loads of water like a lot of water because I honestly do not drink enough water I don't have water intake I only drink water when I feel like drinking water and um a lot of people tell me like girl like you know your acne with your acne it, drinking a lot of water helps and a lot of the people who faces are clear on TikTok, they tell me they drink a lot of water, and I don't. So this month, within 12 months, when it comes to my foodie, food habits, it should be 10 times better. But this month of January, I'm working on, and the rest of my like life. So it's going to start with this month, and it's going to trickle down to the next month. So this month, I'm working on eating, not eating, drinking more water. And when I say water, a lot of water. <laughs> that's one thing and then another thing this month i'm gonna work on when it comes to eating will be eating more fruits and vegetables i've never been a fruit person i've never been a vegetable person i will always love my snacks i always love my real meals i love real meals i love me a good meal but um i'm taking away the snacks and well not 100% completely but I'm making sure that I'm gonna eat me some grapes well not grapes some fruits and some vegetables so I can do those three things so you have to start small I've learned that starting small is good not being big like oh my god I know I to myself like a goal of mine is to stop eating dairy and just to see where it takes me because I have a cousin that she completely took dairy out of her diet and she uses some face products that she have sent me but she took dairy out of her um her diet and her face is clear so one day one of these months i will take dairy completely out for our entire 30 days and see what it do for me and if it works it works if it don't it don't but this month of january i think we only have like two more months but of course it's gonna trickle down to the rest of my life i'm focusing on water my water intake and eating more fruits and vegetables so yeah you guys if you guys have any suggestions or any um products i should use i really feel like i've used every single thing in the book um but i'm gonna try again because i've never really been consistent and it's a new year so uh, i know a lot of people like new year new ideas but that is very true i feel like it's a reset year it's january y'all a lot can happen in 12 months a lot can happen in 12 months and um i'm just excited about this year you guys i'm excited about this month this i'm excited about every single day because each and every day is a new opportunity god has blessed me y'all i just got off of a meeting i don't know if i mentioned that in this video i probably will add it to the end of this video i just don't want this video to be too long of just me talking but uh, you guys uh, I'm just added to the end of this video because I don't want to talk about it because I already talked about it. But yeah, I just I had a Zoom meeting with a media director, and oh my god, talking about him, he just emailed me. Oh, this God is so good. And y'all, I'm really working this year. I'm working on well not this year, this semester because um I feel like with the year you have four semesters, and you know the you know you have January, February, March, April, I believe, and then April, May, June, July. August is my October. Blah, 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 blah. Like you have semesters, so I feel like this semester, these three months, I'm really focusing on having intimacy with God. 
husband when i say intimacy with god that's me when people think of intimacy this is what jerry flower said he said when people think of intimacy they usually straight go to sex or time with your partner but that is intimacy intimacy with god is make sure you're really spending quality time with god and that's what i'm focusing on this semester having quality time with the lord and not after work and not when i'm tired or like before the end of the day let me hurry up and do it no actually set out some time to talk with the lord to read his word to talk with him to pray with him because he values that like just how you value intimacy time well i don't know me like my love language is um words of affirmation and i love quality time so god he loves word because his book is filled with words so i know his love language is love i mean is word to affirmation and i know he loves quality time i know he wants to spend time with us so i'm definitely working on quality time with the lord like intimacy time with the lord and then i'm also working on being intentional like being very intentional with god because he's an intentional god so i need to be intentional as well um but y'all god is so good um really great and i hope y'all are enjoying my talk with me while i am headed to the gym i'm almost there so talk is almost ending if you made it this far again y'all a real one but y'all i go to planet fitness i have been going well i've had a membership with planet fitness for the longest and I actually have the guest pass as well. So, y'all, I literally pay $27 a month, which is crazy to me sometimes. But, I mean, I don't mind it, although I don't use all of the amenities. I only have it because, like, my friends sometimes, they like to come to the gym with me when I do go to the gym. So, I just have it for them when I'm just like, girl, you can just go with me. Or they be like, IT, can I go with you? And I just really have it for them. I need to start. I wish they had more stuff like a sauna there or a pool there. Um, they don't really have much, but I like it because like crunch fitness, I would like to go back to crunch fitness, but after I've been in the gym for a while, cause crunch, I get so intimidated by crunch cause there's so many people in there and they know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly which machine they want to go to. It's like they be knowing and I don't know. I feel like I'm still a beginner in the gym world, although I'm a ex-athlete. Um, but I ran a lot. Like, we went to the gym, but I really was not... I didn't really focus, for real, on the machines, on what machines we did, or focus on my form. That's probably why I sucked. Y'all, I really was not good at running, for real, for real. I was good in middle school and high school. And then after I tore my ACL, y'all, it just went downhill from there. So, um, yeah. But, you guys, I am pulling up to planet fitness and one of these days i will give y'all some gym content but y'all have to give me some time to really perf like perfect my uh my craft first before i get it out there but i love y'all if y'all made it this far thank you for talking with me thank you for having this conversation with me and listening to me i love y'all and yeah bye y'all